As a matter of fact, General, yes, working with the Turners was quite humbling. You must be ready to move on to your next assignment. Thanks, but no thanks, General. I excuse me? No more assignments. What my husband means to say is, we're retiring. But you can't just walk away. You are the best of the best. Who will possibly take your place? Are you sure? Really? I mean, thank you. Watch each other's backs, you two. And I wish you many happy marriages. Tell me that Chuck is joking about them sending me to boot camp because, oh man, they're gonna make me shave my beard. Relax, you passed. Huh? I failed every test. Yeah, with flying colors. You have got to be hands down, bar none, the worst candidate I've ever trained. But you got one thing going for you. You got balls. I do? How many Marines, you know, go up against a Bengal tiger unarmed? Yeah. You have to be a complete idiot. Well, that's the thing, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's me in a nutshell. Lesser men, yeah, they're, they're running away from danger, and I'm, uh... Hey, see? Dude! You turned my sister's apartment into a kitty litter box. I know, I'm sorry, man. I just, how was I supposed to know the tiger wasn't housebroken? Oh my god. Great, you're here. Guys, we gotta get this place fixed up before Devin and Ellie get back. Well, actually, I was gonna start with our place. Our place? That is, if your offer for me to move in still stands. I'm sorry that I freaked out when you asked me to move in with you. Just, you know how I grew up. I spent my life living in hotel rooms that were fake names. I've been trained to survive a thousand different situations in the field, but nobody ever taught me how to have a normal life. Well, I hate to break it to you, but I don't think we're ever going to live a normal life. Well, I'd like to have something to fall back on when the rest of my life is over. 